Good evening, everybody. This is uh, Dance Music Kid Vinny Michael with episode 5, season 2 of Walk and Talk. So, this past weekend, on beginning, I think it was uh, Friday, was a lot, obviously, just the live band sound wave. And then uh, after that, Saturday was the big event, Rogue. It's a. Um, a Filipino cover band and they did fantastic although I think I may have heard that they were they wanted to cancel out I guess maybe they have they have anxiety and what happened was they didn't want to go on with the show and also too they were also here in Mississauga a few nights before and apparently their gigs were so, and they went they, uh, a few nights before and they were also at Republica, at the Republica Wrestle Bar. And apparently their gigs sold out, all their gigs sold out and then before the main show. Before that, the performers uh, did their, did their uh, magic. I'm going to give special shout outs to my family, to the Ages Reborn. You guys did a fantastic job. Like, I am very proud of you, and Mom M's, I love you so much. Ati Christy, Ati Arcelli, the whole entire gang of The Ages Reborn. Thank you to the sponsors, MC Dom Kings, for letting, them, for letting us show their magic, our magic. Even though I did not perform, but hey, I, was, I did my part as well. Um, very, very proud. The angles were good. Everything came all in a second, you know, with the cue, the cue was good. It was on point. It was just like, wow, like a comeback. It was a, it was, it was like a comeback. <laughs> we all came in Unite. Amazing show. And I think the singer Lisa, oh my goodness. She was good too. All of them were good, especially Lisa. She was one of the performers. She did a fantastic job too. The band itself and also the band itself. So it was over at the pavilion, over at the pavilion on Saturday, and then now I think they're gonna they're on their Canadian tour. So they're gonna be, I think, heading over to I think I think they already went to PEI already, and then they, I think they're going to Calgary, and yeah, and therefore, and then Sunday was a Christmas of a heart. With uh, Jose Marichan and the uh, and the company band, an amazing show. This guy's been around since the early '60s, and he did one song that sounded like rain shop, sh drops are falling on my head. And he, oh, this guy is brilliant. He's all, I think he's like also a comedian too, because he says some shit that was so funny. Oh my god! It was just a fantastic show. It was over in Whitby. Over at the, I think it was like a Christian church. It was like in a like a center, like the center beside. There was the church. So I haven't been up to Whitby like fifteen years. It was like a fantastic show. Um, at the end of the show, it was amazing. And now we have now we're resting until the next event. Cause I think apparently um, we were supposed to have two events already, but two events got canceled. So we won't be seeing each other until the 15th. Yeah, we won't be seeing each other until the 15th. So that's going to be like a while now. So I get a break in between. Oh, I was having fun. Aww. Well, the only two events that are coming up that I'm actually, and it's still scheduling, is the, what's it called? Oh, fuck. Uh, the Jingle Beat, uh, In The Mix Jingle Beat, and In The Mix Ugly Christmas ugly Christmas sweater party. Yeah, that's what it's called. <laughs> Sorry, I had to fucking think here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so that's the only two events that are coming up, and then I won't be seeing them until the 15th. No, no, the ages, no, don't leave, don't leave me. <laughs> Actually, I need a break myself too. So, and then Thursday, I'm going to be making my debut. Well, well not really a debut. I'm going to be making my appearance over at Stage Manga. 
with the Z-Dance Marathon crew. They're, they have their Zumba every Tuesdays and Thursdays at Sage Manga in Scarborough on Ellesmere. And it's really not that far. It's like a like an eight minute Uber drive, one one bus ride, one go bus go bus up there, and then one Uber ride there. So yeah, but I need to get some classes in before like the, before January seventh, just to get some classes in. I was gonna go tonight, but no, I was like really like I gonna get. I'm just trying to get my body going again. So Thursday I will go, so I can get some classes in, until that point. But the reason, like I said, because I think we were supposed to have the dinner dance with them on the 15th. But due to the fact that we had the Lions Den International Lions Club dinner dance, we declined and decided to go with them. But it's okay. We're going to be with them anyways again soon. You know, at least, you know. And then we have six, the 15th, the 16th, the 26th, and the 30th of December. So back to what I was saying. So the end of the show on Sunday, uh, Mom M's asked me, Mom, because I was sitting there, because Mom Mom M's asked me to go home because they were they were, she, she didn't want because apparently like they were usher there were ushers there to, on Sunday, her and Dad Ram, they were there on Sunday they were doing the ushering that's why, you know they they want she wanted me she asked me to go ahead, which was fine no because I had to travel back to Mississauga and all of a sudden. I was, I was sitting down for a little bit with them, you know, just to settle a little before I leave. And then all of a sudden, um, she asked me to come up to take a picture with them. And I'm like, you were supposed to, you were supposed to ask me to go home? I'm like, that's fine. And then all of a sudden, when I went up, the ladies ask, who are you with? And she's like, oh, this is, oh, this is my son. He's my son. And I'm like, you were supposed to, you were supposed to go. I'm like, oh. Because you know what? I saw the spirit of my mom, actually. There was a moment there. I saw the spirit of my mom there on Sunday. She was there again. And I'm like, wow, this was mom. This was my actual mom. Oh, shit. And like, wow, it was a miracle. It was it was like a blessing in disguise because it because they only they only allow like VIP, like VIP holders. But as soon as they when they told her told them that yeah he's my son like yeah it was a blessing in disguise which is which was fine because it was vip which was okay because like originally well i didn't really mind it but that was so sweet what mom m's did that's like nobody has ever done that to me for me there's all these people like oh you're my son Vinny. Blah, 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 blah. And like a bullshit but at least like someone like that something spiritual like this lady yeah she's my whole life Jackie Trudor came off the Kimosabi. <laughs> it's like raining out here. Yeah, I can see the drips, drips coming out of here. Yeah, so it was a good weekend. So now I gotta get like a break. I think, and then they also have something coming up on, on December third, but not, it's not sponsored by the Ageless. Because I asked mom and that um about December third. You gotta there. It's a Christmas party, but it's not. We're not sponsoring it. So they just want the performers. Okay, yeah, that depends upon the organizers too. Say if you have a business or whatever, they'll call upon and say, hey, we're having a party, this and that. Okay, we want the performers, but no sponsors. Or we want the sponsors, but no dancers. That's how I think that's how the organizers are. Which is okay because like, which is okay because it wasn't scheduled on our calendar. So that's good. That's okay because like, I'm going to be in, in town. I'm going to be on the other side of town on the weekend, on Saturday. And I get a little break until the 15th, which was good, which is good because like, you know, got to have that break in between too. Because I traveled for like three times already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, three times already. Yeah, last week, last week, the 25th anniversary and then the two times Saturday and then the Sunday. I'm like, wow, yeah, yeah, break time. <laughs> So yeah, other than that, things are looking up. Things are looking up. I mean, and then like my auntie Marsha came down from Vancouver, as yeah, she was here for about five days. So she rented her and Uncle C rented an Airbnb on down on Bishop Soak. They were here for about five days. So we had like a brunch. 
with yeah we had like brunch over at uh, Jack Astor's and then uh, and then month, yesterday we went for a coffee at over at over at uh, McDonald's I have like fries I had like a snack wrap and everything so I didn't eat it so I didn't eat when I get home because I you know I I, I sat in my stomach till I didn't eat until today that I had such a good night's sleep I woke up at 4 a.m like oh my gosh it was like I had one because I went to sleep like three times I just wanted to relax my body and was like oh I felt so good. Only got a few minutes left because on my phone it says 11 minutes and 37 because like I had to clear the storage off my phone. But I will end it off in a few minutes. This episode off in a few minutes. I'm going to end this off soon so I can put it up later on. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm on my way to Central Park to really grab a coffee and a muffin. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut this cut the episode off. Thanks for tuning in. Please like and subscribe and share my channel. And I'll see you all in the next episode of Walk and Talk, season two of Walk and Talk. I'm Dance Music Vinnie Michael. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great evening, everybody. Keep your head up. Keep your fucking head up. Yeah, boy.